Hi everyone, Pastor Scott here. It is time for our Tuesday devotion, February 21st. We've been going through the different books of the Bible, one book each week, and doing what we're going to do right here in just a few seconds, uh, just a little devotion based off of that book and the major theme of that book and a thought for the week. And then we'll read that together during the week and this is an easy book for you to jump in on if you haven't been doing that with us or uh, to continue and maybe catch up a little bit uh, the book of ruth it's uh, only a few chapters long and it's a great love story and i i think if you haven't read it lately it, it's one that it will really really do uh, some great work in your heart with the understanding of how it demonstrates that the kind of love and faithfulness that God desires for us. It shows the difference really between what happens when a nation does not follow God's covenant, like we saw in the book of Judges last week. And here we see what happens when God's people follow in faithfulness the covenant that's set before them. And so it's it's a great book to read. And one of the verses that really, of many, that stick out in that is in the book of Ruth there in chapter 1, verse 16, where it says, But Ruth replied, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God great words there. And a major theme of the book of Ruth is that of the kinsman redeemer. So as you read it, Boaz is a relative of Naomi on her husband's side and acting upon his duty as outlined in Mosaic Law to redeem an impoverished relative from his or her circumstances. We see that happen here and it really, the scenario is repeated by Christ, so it's a foreshadowing of what Christ would do, uh, who redeems us, the spiritually impoverished, from the slavery of sin. So our Heavenly Father sent His own Son to the cross so that we might become children of God, brothers and sisters of Christ. By being our Redeemer, He makes us His kinsmen. kinsmen. So uh, it's a great book to read, and it has a lot of depth to it, and uh, really how God extends mercy to the merciful. So I uh, encourage you to read that this week. We've got some great things uh, going on as well this week uh, at the church. Uh, Thursday night, we've got chili cook-off. It's going to be a lot of fun, 6 o'clock, uh, all the food that you can eat. So I encourage you to be here, uh, whether you're cooking chili or not. So just love for you to be here for that. Right after that, right at seven o'clock in the same room, we're going to be going right into a Bible study that we've been in for a while in First Peter uh, chapter five. We're starting to finish up the book there. So we'll be in chapter five, verse five, and going a few verses forward in that. And then of course, Sunday morning, Isaiah chapter 55 is where we'll be and where we're going to be talking about uh, come come to the water, those who are thirsty, and just really explaining uh, the, the joy of coming to Christ. So great week to have uh, everyone here. I uh, hope you have a great time in the book of Ruth and really uh, pondering what it means for Christ to be our Redeemer in our lives. And I, I know for me, I think one of the things I'll be doing is like, what has Christ redeemed me from? And just really remembering all of the things that he has redeemed me from and uh, just making that a, a point to remember this week. Okay, so uh, hope you have a great week. Hope to see you Thursday and Sunday. God bless.